Welcome to Becoming a Sleep Consultant. I'm your host, Jane Havens, a certified sleep consultant and founder of both Snooze Fest by Jane Havens and Center for Pediatric Sleep Management. On this podcast, I'll be discussing the business side of sleep consulting. You'll have an insider's view on launching, growing, and even scaling a sleep consulting business. This is not a podcast about sleep training. This is a podcast about business building and entrepreneurship. I was interviewed on a podcast and the final question I was asked was a really good one. The interviewer asked me what my number one piece of advice was for entrepreneurs. Honestly, I didn't know this question was coming and I had to think on the fly. That being said, I think my answer was pretty spot on and now I want to share these thoughts with all of you. My number one piece of advice for brand new entrepreneurs is just to get started. I speak to so many people who will say to me that they've been thinking about becoming a sleep consultant for three years. And when they say that to me, all I can think about is how far along they would be in their businesses if they had just taken that first step and gotten started. So here I am on the Becoming a Sleep Consultant podcast today, telling you to just take that first step and get started. Nothing needs to be perfect. When I first started my business, I didn't even have a computer. I took a training on an iPad. I got my business up and running with literally just that device and my cell phone. I think it was two years before I started running my business from an actual computer. I launched a successful business not knowing how to use email marketing platforms. I still don't send out mass emails for Snooze Fest, which is my consulting business. I'm pretty sure that when I first launched, I had never even heard of Canva before. Can you imagine? I figured all of these things out along the way, and you will too. Decide today to do something to get started, whatever that may be. Take an online course, spend some time learning on YouTube, take one single baby step in the direction of wherever you want to be. That first step is always the hardest, but then the others that follow will feel so much more natural. Before you know it, you will have taken a dozen steps and then a few hundred steps. And at some point, you'll look back and you'll see how far you've come. Even if you're nowhere near close to the ultimate goal or the final destination. For those people who have told me that they have been thinking about becoming a sleep consultant for three years, I hope you're listening to this episode. The best time for you to have started your business would have been three years ago. The second best time for you to get started would be today. If you'd like to find a time to connect and see if sleep consulting is for you, DM me on Facebook, or you can email me, jane, J-A-Y-N-E, at thecpsm.com. And if you'd like to book a Zoom to connect face-to-face, I would love that. The link to hop onto my calendar is in the show notes, and I would love to connect with you. The secret to getting ahead is getting started. I hope you will do that very, very soon. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Becoming a Sleep Consultant podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, it would mean so much to me if you would rate, review, and subscribe. When you rate, review, and subscribe, this helps the podcast reach a greater audience. I am so grateful for your support. If you would like to learn more about how you can become a certified sleep consultant, head over to my Facebook group, Becoming a Sleep Consultant, or to my website, thecpsm.com. Thanks so much, and I hope you will tune in for the next episode.